Welcome to Nautic Broadcast by Fontaine Peugeot, the exclusive Nautic Online program. Today, we will be looking at the 40 to 42 feet catamarans, the start of range sizes of Fontaine Peugeot catamarans with Steven Guidou, Group Commercial Director, and Mail Jouan, France and Europe Area Sales Manager. Hello, both of you. Hello, Amélie. Hello, Amélie. Uh, today, Fontaine Peugeot has flagship yachts as well as start of range catamarans. 40 to 42 feet catamarans, which are great as first boats for new owners or easy to sell for the experienced sailor. Steven, at Fontaine Peugeot, you have a wide range of multi hulls, starting with the 42 to 42 feet catamarans. Can you tell us what makes them so special? Well, the Isla 40 and the Ascrea 42 are incredible boats. Why? Because they are easy to handle, easy to maneuver, uh, they are fast, they are easy to uh, maintain also. So this is why they are the perfect boat uh, for uh, either the first time buyer, mm -hmm. which represents uh, 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 30% of the clients, but also uh, the experienced uh, the sailor. They are very, uh, they are really incredible boats. Mel, can you tell us a little bit about the comforts? Are these boats comfortable? Yeah, of course. Uh, the Isla 40 and the Astrea 42 are really comfortable boats. Uh, today you have some uh, different layouts with three or four cabins. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect boat, I think, if you want to chill with your family, uh, if you want to uh, take your time uh, in a large bench, really comfortable. Uh, you have some electrical appliances in the saloon who give you uh, the same comfort as in house, for example, a large fridge and um, a beautiful and uh, really space kitchen. About the view, you have a 336 view and you can uh, look the ocean from your bench and I think it's really, really good boat for that. So it's a very luminous and uh, comfortable boat to be on. Yes, of course. This is, uh, I think, the uh, main point of the Fountain Pajot boat. We have a lot of luminosity in, yes. Great, thank you very much. Stephen, maybe you can talk to us about the performance because these boats are very comfortable, but are they performant? Well, first of all, this is a Fountain Pajot. So uh, the DNA, the Fountain Pajot DNA is the best balance uh, between uh, space, comfort and performance. Mm -hmm. You have to know that uh, Jean-François Fountaine, the owner and founder of Fountaine Pajot, is a, a former racer. So this is why our DNA, is, this is where our DNA is coming from. Mm -hmm. So when we design a boat, we do pay attention of uh, uh, the weight because this is an important part of uh, the performance. Uh, the weight of our boats, they are uh, lighter than most of our competitors. All our boats are delivered with uh, a square top sales, a sales with a square top. This is standard. So this is really helping the performance. So we've talked about the performance and the comfort. So really the technical aspects more of the boat. Um, what kind of experience do, does somebody need to sail on an Isla 40 or an Astra 42 mail? Uh, I think today um, our public is really large because you can have beginners sailors and experienced sailors because uh, the boat uh, is, for example, a perfect product if you want to have a performance and a good feeling at the steer, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, but if you want to discover the world of the catamaran, it's a really good boat for that because uh, it's easy to use, easy to learn the sail, I think. And uh, today, um, we have uh, some people who have a really good experience uh, on their Astrea, on their Isla, uh, with the discoverer of the catamaran world. Um, I think a lot of people ask themselves with catamarans if they're easy to maneuver. Um, can you tell us maybe a little bit more about that? Yes, of course. Um, I think a lot of people think that catamaran is difficult to maneuver mm -hmm. uh, because the size is uh, really big. But uh, you have to know that uh, it's easier than a monohull mm -hmm. because you have two engines and uh, it's really easier to maneuver. Yeah, and uh, under sales, everything is centralized. Mm -hmm. 
mm. you have the three winches in front of the helm station. Mm. Uh, this is very important. You know, one one uh, uh, area has, a, has something to do. So we have dedicated a full space to the maneuver and uh, st and uh, steering at the helm station. That's very interesting. Thank you. Uh, Stephen, I was uh, wondering what kind of projects you could imagine uh, when you have an Isla 40 and Astro 42. Where can you go? What can you do? All kind of projects. Uh, we have uh, many customers uh, who are buying an Isla 40 or an Astra 42 as a vacation house, uh, selling a few days per year, staying comfortably uh, at the marina or at the anchor enjoying life. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also uh, a lot of customers who want to make a, 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 a big world tour. Uh, we, you know, we have uh, Astrea all over the world. Of course, mainly on the sunny areas such as the West Indies or Polynesia or uh, South uh, Mediterranean. But not only, because mm -hmm. everybody, th everybody thinks that uh, uh, a cat is dedicated to sunny area. Mm -hmm. But not only, uh, you have, uh, as uh, um, Mael was mentioning, you have a lot of brightness inside and when the sun is not coming uh, because of uh, a lot of clouds outside and i will not mention which country can be <laughs> can be uh, like this but uh, you need a lot of brightness so this is a case for uh, a catamaran and also uh, when it's when you have a lot of rain you need a lot of space to protect yourself and under the bimini you can make a full enclosure uh, and you have a, an additional uh, area that you can heat because we have a, a heater as an option we have also of course for the sunny places we have uh, we can offer ac even though our boats are very well ventilated now we do mm. pay attention of having a lot of hatches open hatches to have a natural ventilation so um, i would say that uh, uh, either for a, a, a small cruise or a, a big tour the Astra 42 and Isla 40 are incredible boats. And um, that's wherever you are in the world. And by the way, um, let's hear about the experience of the owners of an Astra 42 who have sailed uh, all over the world, I hear, from Patagonia to Alaska. Hello everybody, this is Luke. And this is Vivian, aboard our Fontaine Pajot Astrea 42, who is called O2. We are a couple from Belgium, but we met in the 80s in Burundi, Africa, where we were both teachers. One of the important things we had in common was our uh, lust for adventure and exploration. And that is still the case today. Our sailing life started in 2007 when we went to La Gomera, uh, one of the Canary Islands, for a RYA uh, sailing course. So after that first RYA course in La Gomera, I asked Vivian whether she had enjoyed it. Yeah, and I had. So I said yes. So the next uh, week he uh, went to come to visit the boat show and that's where he bought our first Moro Hull. We made our first Atlantic crossing to uh, Fernando de Noronha in Brazil. However, I did get seasick occasionally. Uh, when we arrived in Cabadelo, uh, Brazil, we were invited on board other um, cruisers and they had a catamaran. So we were very, very envious of their comfortable uh, stand there. So that's when we decided, okay, uh, we are, will continue our cruising life. This is the life for us, but it's not going to be on a monohull, it's going to be on a cat. So once we were back in Belgium, we decided to sell our monohull and order uh, 44 Helia. It was a few months later that Fontaine Pajot launched the Astria and we loved the design, we saw the, the good uh, sailing uh, reviews. So we asked Fontaine Pajot if we could still swap and then uh, go for the Astria instead and they agreed. The sleek design also from the Fontaine Pajot that we loved 
and uh, unlike most other uh, catamarans that we didn't like so much. We have so many other uh, advantages, uh, much more comfort. It's our cruising life. We live on our boat, so this is for us now a, a point where we can't return. It's now four years since we first bought our uh, Australia 42 and we have completed over 22,000 nautical miles. There were three passages, one, the first one, the Atlantic passage from Tenerife to uh, Antigua and the Caribbean. Then there were two Pacific passages from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico to Hilo, Hawaii. And finally from Hawaii to uh, Prince Rupert. But uh, we must say that the inside passage of Canada and um, Alaska was an absolute highlight. Marvelous uh, wildlife and nature all uh, around us. And it is also a fact that uh, there was one downside. We are used to warmer waters, so the water was too cold for us uh, to dive. We need to go to clean the holes or to change um, the anodes. But then again, because it's a catamaran, you can beach, which we did a couple of times. And that also was great fun. And um, people stopped by and commented on the beauty of our boat. We were very proud. That was very interesting, wasn't it, to hear from Incredible. the owners. By the way, um, have you ever had the chance of sailing on one of uh, these catamarans? So I have not uh, had the chance to sail all over the world uh, like uh, the experience we just saw. But of course, um, I did uh, some charter and uh, the last one was on the uh, Isla 40 in mm -hmm. Croatia and north of Croatia in the area of Pula. That's I was quite with, nice. Uh, it was very nice. Um, I was sailing with my family. I have uh, three kids. Uh, one is very, uh, I would say, full of energy. Mm -hmm. So you need a lot of space. And believe me, on the 40, it's incredible the space you have. Uh, we had the chance to have the, the maestro version, the owner version, mm -hmm. so which is quite unusual for a charter boat. Mm -hmm. But uh, we really really enjoyed with my wife the, 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 the hull who is totally dedicated for us with a, a big shower and bathroom and my kid was on the other side of the, of the hull so Perfect. privacy <laughs> and uh, we sailed uh, quite a lot um, because we enjoy uh, sailing under sail of course and it was a very good experience. And it's at the end of the of the week, uh, uh, we said to ourselves, wow, what a big boat. It's an entry-level boat for Fountain Pajot, but it's not, in fact. It's a huge boat with a lot of volume. So it was a very, very good exper uh, uh, experience we had. That sounds like a great experience you had on the Isla 40. Um, and I think we have owners also who uh, would like to share their experience on the Isla 40. My name is Mike Crosby. I'm Cindy Crosby. And we have a 2023 Fountain Peugeot Isla 40. Um, we purchased the boat here at uh, Annapolis at the boat show two years ago. And we received the boat about a year ago. It is now in the British Virgin Islands in Waypoint's charters. And it's uh, been in the charter for about six months. Um, we chose the Isla 40 because we loved the layout. Um, we loved that we did the owner's version and we felt like the master suite was such a nice private retreat. It felt very homey on that side, but we still had the room if we wanted to have family or friends join us. It still had plenty of room. So it was a perfect like entry level boat for us. And it's also such an easy boat to single hand and definitely short hand with the two of us, but even just single handed. If, if Cindy's doing something else, I, I don't have to ask her for help with anything with the exception of maybe catching a mooring ball. It, it's such an easy boat to handle by yourself. You know, another reason why we chose the Isla is because it is the, the entry level line to Fountain Peugeot and we knew that we were going to put our boat uh, in the charter business and we didn't have a, this, this is our first time and we didn't know the ins and outs of how the charter business worked. And so we figured the least amount of risk would be with the 
the smallest entry level boat. The, a couple of the features I love about this boat is I feel like um, the cockpit has lots of places where you can lounge, especially when you're underway. Um, and it's very comfortable when you're sailing. Like you have a reading place, you've got benches to lay on. Um, it's lovely. And then we also have the sun pads on the coach roof, which is, that's my favorite spot on the, on the boat. Like even if it's calm and we're underway, I love laying up there. It's so peaceful. Um, so I feel like that's the wonderful thing about the Isla 40 is you still get a lot of those luxurious spaces that you can spread out and lots of places where people can sit and enjoy just being underway and sailing. A regular day in the boat for us, it could be different depending on the day. There are some days where we really look forward to uh, uh, to getting up and, and pulling up anchor and, and setting sail for that next uh, island and that next uh, little hideaway cove where you can uh, find a, a, a quiet spot, a sandy beach to, to go hang out on. Other days, it's ideal just to have a slow morning, have breakfast, and Coffee. maybe not, yeah, and maybe not pull the hook up at all, and you just you just stay in the boat and just yeah. and hang out and lounge. That's the beauty of the uh, the boat. The space is so comfortable, and you usually find yourself in very uh, beautiful locations. Um, yeah, we shopped around um, for a while at different boat shows, and just uh, we had lots of experience sailing Fountain Pajos. We really liked the layout and the quality. We were used to the systems, um, and so that's what drew us to Fountain Pajot. Um, and then the, the brokers that we worked with at ACY made the whole process seamless. Um, but we definitely loved the way the Fountain Pajot sailed and loved all of the systems and the layout, and it just suited our needs. In terms of the big three builders, Fountain Pajot has always been our favorite. Mm. I think they strike the right balance between performance and comfort. Um, it's uh, it's really uh, a fantastic boat. Uh, the, the way it's finished is, is very, very comfortable to, to, to live in. And they're very easy to shorthand. We do a lot of sailing, just the two of us. And, uh, and so we find it really easy to single hand or shorthand a boat. Yeah, that was a big factor in our decision, knowing that it was gonna be a lot of times just the two of us on the boat. And we wanted a boat that was gonna be easy to handle. And we found that the Isla 40 is, is a great model for that. The right boat for you is, is the boat that you're gonna feel comfortable on that you're not going to feel overwhelmed with either the upkeep or the maintenance or the ability the to size. to sail it yeah. and to maintain it. The entire range is uh, is capable and safe, so you don't have you don't have worries there. So just if you're if you're looking at buying a boat, just just know what you're what you don't want to compromise on. Do you like your private spaces? Then perhaps look for an owner's version where you can slide the uh, door shut and you've got a an entire hole to yourself to where you can get away from everybody. If you know that you're going to have big groups, then look for something that has uh, multiple spaces to sit, like a flybridge lounge or the front cockpit. Um, and so just you know, knowing how you're going to use it can help determine you know what you're looking for so that uh, you're happy with the boat that you choose. By the way, um, is there anything else you'd like to add for potential new buyers? Yes, of course. We would like to say that uh, today, Isla 40 and Astrea 42 are best sellers. And this is why we produced uh, almost 500 uh, Isla and uh, 300 Astrea. Uh, this is the best uh, balance between comfort and performance. Mm -hmm. And I think this is why uh, it is a true blue water catamaran. And uh, what I can recommend is uh, to visit uh, first our website uh, mm -hmm. because we have uh, videos, uh, a lot of uh, images, and also we have a virtual visit where you can really uh, make a virtual tour. But also you can uh, come uh, on person on uh, the World Wide Boat Show uh, Foods and Pajot is attending in America, Europe, uh, Asia, in Oceania. Uh, we are in most of the, of the boat shows, so come and uh, visit us. Thank you very much, uh, Stephen. Thank you very much, Mail. And uh, to all the audience, uh, you know now what to do. Thank you. Thank you, Amélie. Thank you, Amélie.